Hey everyone, got a really drizzly day there today. I've had a few p uh, calls this morning, so I'm on a little bit later if you do watch this sort of straight away. I know some of you do, so hello, I hope you're all well. It's Nicola Russell here, Remembrance Into The Light, and this channel is all about, if you are new to this channel, it's all about channeling um, uh, higher dimensional beings across all time and space, and I bring in light codes for the evolution of your soul to release things within your energy field if you want to connect with that and also um, downloads, activation, things things like that. A um, little bit of quantum stuff as well now and again, which is quite exciting when I get my whiteboard out. That's, that's exciting times, those are. We've not got the whiteboard out today, but I've just come in in. Um, I was sort of really tapping into very high vibrations um, this morning, especially one particular lady I was working with. Quite a profound experience, actually. Um, so I feel that I, I still have those energies around me, so I just want to sort of take advantage of that to bring you through some information um, to release anything and to expand you in um, once Louise has started to settle. She's just had a choo-choo. Yeah, I think she's a bit right. Okay, see so what we get today then, guys. Okay, let's place our intentions in that we're working for the expansion of the soul into the sovereignty of light. だ、しゅまこかだ、てしゃなきえまこかわしゃたいウェフパポショカオイバコマコ。6 so we from my heart to your heart just receive this sense of love vibration that is elem, um, animate, animated elem, going around my energy field <laughs> and just take it in it's all a bit like a big old sponge get sponging up some of that um, it's like um, bread and gravy not that I ever used to do that uh, but uh, some of you may do bread and gravy wiping it all up on the plate so yeah be like a sponge it is so often that we sponge up everybody else's energy that is that of fear around us at the moment so let's just have a little bit of self-care and self-love with the facilitation of me bringing through this a bit of love vibration sending out to you um to just soak it up yeah there is time for great change. Can you feel the settlement occurring? It's been a bit rocky recently and it's starting to settle gradually. It's sort of moving through those sort of portals and um, templates of settlement. Less rocky, they're saying that. <laughs> and more gravy to soak up. Yes, more, more gravy to wipe. <laughs> Gosh, guys. So just feel that sense of love just going in your direction, just pushing it out of my energy field, just go in and just grab it. Mm. だ。こうクラスとバルクのマクレスマキアタ。シュンバククランタイシュベソルバシ。シュンバククランタリシャンテイタバリビシュノマ。コレバシャノマカウシャノメ。ロクレシシキアノボクレシシキアナタ。
Okay, just let that integrate, please. Mm. Okay, as well as great changes that come in, it means that there is a deconstruction of all that we know. And sometimes there's a little bit of trauma that we need to clear up. A little bit of scraping of the barrel. A little bit of going in a little bit deeper into those core wounds. And at these times when we can actually take in that love, it may shine light on that, that trauma that may sit deep inside of yourself. And that's okay. It's a blessing when that happens. Try not to see it as being a bit of a bit of a sticky patch. It's just about really having it been shown and then you can deal with it. It's really interesting that um, as I self-read my tarot cards, I've for the last month been getting the um, <laughs> the tower card. I'm like, what? what's going on? What's... Um, and it was showing up um, really very deep um, core wounds that I'm clearing at the moment, which is um, quite interesting. I wanted to sort of tell you this little story before I sort of give you a bit of a download, but they wanted you just to um, understand um, what what happens sometimes. So I knew that then there was something that was happening in my, um, my Nicola life um, that needed to be sorted. And I've been sort of brushing over the experience for probably about a year or mm, or four, <laughs> um, and not really getting in there to deep, 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 deep core emotional wounds, which has come through all time and space. So um, the universe was shining that light on that and saying, there you go, Nika, you need to sort this out. You really need to sort this out so that you can then let that go to enable more light to come in. So I knew that this had to be tackled. But then yesterday they was giving me some information that really sort of quite shocked me about, no, no, that's not what I want. Um, and then <laughs> last night, can you believe it? What the higher self does is to my, um, there's a fire alarm at the top of the stairwell, just near the bedroom, there is a, a fire alarm. And do you know when the battery goes and it starts to beep, like that all night it had me up so I had to put some music on because Louise was getting a bit upset she was because she didn't like it she was shaking she was on the bed she was shaking she didn't like it so I thought right I put some little doggy music on then just to sort of soothe it but I was coming in and out of consciousness and this thing that I need to tackle and need to clear um was kept on being shown so I didn't get hardly any sleep I didn't get any hardly any sleep and um, I was coming in and out of consciousness because they were sort of they were basically saying if you're not going to do it we're going to make you do it <laughs> that's the tower card we're just going to have to take over then because if you're not actually going to be doing it we're going to have to actually do it for you we're going to have to make you do it so face it right like this and it was around about four o'clock in the morning that I was like, oh, come on, come on. <laughs> and um, the, 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 the YouTube channel thing with the, with the doggy music finished. So I had to sort of like sit there and she had been asleep. She was asleep, so she was okay. And then I went in, there is a reason for all this story. Um, and then I went in and then they showed me exactly what I needed to do. So I did an email at half past four in the morning to somebody in particular um, to sort of sort this thing out, to get hold of somebody so I can sort it out, I'm not going into personal details, but um, to get hold of somebody to help me with this process. Um, and then, can you believe it? Because I took that step in doing something about it, the fire alarm bleep stopped. So the universe was bringing that forward. Okay, that. <coughs> they want to come forward. They're God, really forceful today. That. So back here, so back here, and back here, see here. So back here, so back here, and back here. That. So on back here, back here. There is no more putting off. That. So back here, so back here, and back here. That. That should be a good amount. We start prodding you. That. So on back here, so back here, and back here, poking you. That. So ma. Good. See you on back here. Good. I see you. So back here, ma creating coughs in your energy field to clear the throat. That, showing you pains in the shoulder, 
intensifying things that are in your energetic field that they go like, look, you got to deal with this. That everything is shaking up. And when they show you what needs to clear, you need to get onto it and start clearing it. Because they're going to start doing things like putting your fire alarm on beeping all night until you actually do something about it. And when you do, it stops and it's settled. And then this morning I made a phone call, made an appointment to get everything sorted. And now I'm sort of in a feeling in a much better place. I'm coming from a place of empowerment. So whatever it is, whether it's something you need to do in your personal life, whether it's something that's in an emotional state, something that you need to do is nagging you an un, uh, an untied loose end that needs to be fused to not create a sense of a leak within your energetic flow. And with that, the imp- sense of empowerment will enable you to grow even stronger. That they are best pleased with me. Pat on the back. So if these things keep coming round and you keep shoving them down, they're going to come up, they're going to come up, they're going to come up. It may then manifest into a physical form, into something that's not being said. My throat, I have a, I don't know if you noticed the last couple of days, I've having to clear my throat quite a bit because I'm not speaking, I'm not saying what I need to say to someone to actually enable me to clear this, to stand up into my empowerment. And with that, it's manifesting into the throat. That, yeah, it's is as plain as the nose at the end of your face. <laughs> That's, you know what I mean. It's plain as the end of the nose. It's plain as the nose at the end of your... No, what is that? You know what I mean. That's your back is the body. It's your back. It's your poor. That's your mind. We can't do our best for me. That is your mock. That's it. I've made them laugh a bit there, I think. I can't remember what that means. If anyone put a comment on... <laughs> help me out. What was that? I can't remember what it's... Anyway, doesn't matter. It is like a, a car in the snowstorm. When you get stuck, you need to give it a bit of a shove to get it moving. That's what my guides have just done. Nice, isn't it? Um, but I'm glad they did because it's making me really face it rather than keep shoving it down. I need to deal with it. It's something that's in my template to experience. And all the time that I try and shove it down deep inside of myself, it keeps rising up. It keeps on creating these little loops within my experience. And that's okay. I'm ready to actually deal with it now. So I'm being, I'll put my good, and my big girl pants on. Be shoved along a bit, mind you. But I'm going to be doing it. So I'm really proud of myself. And if there's anything that you keep showing down deep inside of yourself that keeps representing, face it head on. Try and do what you (laughs) try and do it yourself before you get shoved. And then have a a sleepless night with the alarm going off. (laughs) Okay, that. Is that it? That. Suma koyeba, suma kiyodon, mure siya makuyama. Suma nana, bisu gudebesh. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, hope that makes sense to some of you. If it does, leave me a little message below. I really like your messages. Amazing. Um, give a little like, give a little tick, little, you know, pass it on. <laughs> maybe not this one, but maybe another one if it, if it resonates. Um, check out all the details below. It's all that stuff down there, all those goodies for you to tap into. And um, I think I'm going to go off for a bit of a nap, actually. <laughs> uh, Yeah, I'm going to go for a nap. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye.